What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing showcasing Regulation H teams, and today we got ourselves a good one. We got ourselves a superior Rotom Wash and Life Orb Mimikyu team for today's video. Now, let's talk about superior first and foremost, because this Pokemon is so cool, and it's very niche, but again, very strong. It's got Contrary with the Wide Lens as its item. It's rocking Leaf Storm, Giga Drain, Terror Blast, and Protect. Now with Contrary, this ability actually takes all stat changes that go down and turns them to going up and vice versa. If stat changes are going up, it's now going to go down. So we can use Leaf Storm and instead of dropping our special attack two stages, we can boost it plus two stages. You can see why this can get out of hand. Superior can stack special attack boost real easily, do big time damage with Giga Drain and get HP recovery back as well. So eventually you can just start sweeping the match and stay on the field for as long as you possibly can. Let's talk about Rotom Watch, considering this Pokemon is actually really good, but fell off the meta during like the Paradox formats and the Legendary formats. But it's back in action and it's such a good Pokemon. It's got Levitate, Choice Scarf, Hydro Pump, E-Web for Speed Control, Bolt Switch, and Tricks. We can actually hand off this Choice Scarf, give it to a different Pokemon, and maybe choice them into a move that they don't want to be choiced into. Mimikyu, one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, super strong, and it has an amazing typing of Ghost and Fairy. It's got Disguise, the Life Orb, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers, and last but not least, we have Taunt for opposing support mods. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Incineroar doing Incineroar things, Grimmsnarl, and Corviknight. Corviknight's going to be a nice little bulky attacker with Bulk Up, Tailwind, Iron Head, and Brave Bird. And Grimmsnarl's over here not running strange, just here for support with Spirit Break, Fake Tears, Scary Face, and Parting Shot. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the superior Rotom and Mimikyu team in Regulation H. Hopping into our first match, and we have ourselves a pretty dope Regulation H team. They got Gallade, they got Rillaboom, Porygon 2, Volcarona, Rabscaba, and Oricorio. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this kind of looks like they want to go into like Oricorio and Volcarona and do like Quiver Dance and Dancer combo and just boost from there. So how can I actually stop that if that is what they want to do? I mean, I have Terra Blast with Superior. Um, Oricorio is a flying type Pokemon, which kind of sucks uh, considering Superior can't really do that much damage to it with its grass moves. Um, so I might not even want to go into Superior. I'm going to let maybe like bulk up Corviknight, but that could also be a problem. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Rotom's not bad. I can maybe hand off the Choice Scarf. That's not bad. That's not bad. I do have Hydro Pump with them. So you know what? I'm going to end up going Rotom here for the lead. And I could also go Grimstone if I want to. And just Fake Tears and start like Thunderbolt. And I actually like that combo. I like that a lot. We'll bring Mimikyu in for the late game. And then do we want Incineroar? Kind of, right? Incineroar's a dog. Incineroar's a dog. Yeah, we'll go Incineroar. All right, cool. So no superior here in match number one. It's just kind of like a weird situation that we're in where they can, if they lead like Volcarona and Oricorio, it's just like, dude, how am I doing any damage to this unless I terrestrialize and go for a fire move? But still at that point, it's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. Hopefully my lead can actually just start countering them like Fake Tears, Thunderbolt, Fake Tears, Hydro Pump. They can just do a lot of damage. And yeah, this is the lead that they want to do here. This is the lead that they want to do here. So I'm sure we scarfed on my Rotom, which is just big time news. Um, we go into Hydro Pump here and just send it, which I'm really leaning towards. Where do I send it to? Walk around, right? Do I even fake tears it? I could just party shot here, but... If you don't Thrasilize, Rotom's just taking you out. So I'm just going to go into Spirit Break into Ori Corio. And of course, I miss my Hydro Pump. I love this game. It's just what I wanted. I miss my Hydro Pump. This thing's Quiver Dancing. Oh man, I hate this game. Hate it. Volcarona should be dead. Should be dead. Should be gone. Now Ori Corio is just gonna, you know, do a little dancer stuff. Quiver dance up and now be able to attack. Oh man, Volcarona should be gone. That really hurts the soul. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Maybe we'll do some nice damage over onto him. Get that special attack drop. I think our best option is to just Hydro Pump here. And on top of that, Fake Tears. What typing are you again? Are you just flying, Rikurio? You always throw me off. 
Electric and flying. Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're, we're cool with going for fake tears here. And dropping your special special defense. But can I land this Hydro Pump just so I can take out Ori Corio? I really don't feel like dealing with it. Yo, he's boosting. I think Hydro Pump still might be able to take out. And Hydro Pump still KO? Go ahead, Hydro Pump. Let's go. Alright. Tried too much. They tried too much. So we get rid of Oricorio. Are you going for another another quiver dance here, Volcarona? You are. Alright, you're next on my Hydro Pump list. I think you're I think you're taking this Quiver Dance thing too far. I think you're taking Quiver Dance too far. I think you kinda had this battle if you would just start attacking. Because that your Pokemon were boosted. Plus two special attack, plus two special defense, plus two speed. It was getting out of hand. It's getting real out of hand. So Rapska comes back out here. Um, obviously you can go for a revival blessing. And I definitely want to just double down on Volcarona. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fake tears Volcarona and Hydra Pump it. Rapska, if you wanna go for a revival blessing, be my guest. Mmm, you protected. How dare you, man? Hate this game. So he's gonna get back Ori Corio, which is it's okay. It's okay. Unless Rapska's not doing it. It's gotta be though. It has simply gotta be. It has got to be. Yep, there's Revival Blessing. So, okay, Ori Corio, no stat boost in the back end. Half HP. No big deal. I mean, you can revive again after that berry, but... I mean, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Ori Corio's back in action. We're gonna do the same thing. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Volcarona Fake Tears into a Hydro Pump. This thing's plus two on Special Defense. I'd rather lower it back to normal. But it's crazy because this whole combo and, like, this match could have been... Pretty easy for us if my Rotom would have just landed uh, that first one, right? He would have just landed that first Hydro Pump. The fake tears flies through here. Can I outspeed this Volcarona now? No, and he's gonna go for a fiery dance. With the Grimstarl, which Grimstarl soaks. He's gonna dance her up here and fiery dance double down. That's fine. I mean, as long as I land this Hydro Pump, we should be sitting in a really good position just to win this game. Go ahead, Rotom. I need you here. More than ever. More than ever. Let's go, Rotom. That's big time. Super effective. Stab. Let's not pick up the KO, though. That actually hurts, because this thing is leftover boosted. Alright. So he's able to go for Fiery Dances and pull off some big time damage. I mean, I can just Shadow Sneak it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my play all day. Shadow sneak with Mims. With the Mimi Mimis. With Mimsters. Uh, I'm still gonna launch another Hydro Pump. Look to just KO the Ori Corio, And then just go for a Shadow Sneak to take out the Volcarona. Volcarona could protect, but I mean, I have this guy, so I should be fine for another turn or two. And I think even after the leftovers, if he does protect, my Shadow Sneak should still be able to KO, considering we are Life Orb. We got the Orb full of life. And he's gonna go for Rage Power, so that works fine. That works fine for me, because Shadow Sneak's gonna come out here first. It's just gonna KO you. Bye bye, Volcarona. And can we land another Hydro Pump? Not miss. Need you here, Rotom. Still need you. Keep being a washing machine. Hey, that a boy. That a boy, Rotom. Big time KO. So we get rid of the Volcarona. We get rid of the Oricorio again. They got Rabska with a revival blessing ready to go. And I might end up swapping. Nah, I can't really swap. I think I had to double down on Rabska just so he doesn't revive, right? Who are you gonna go into? Hey, P2. Right, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna double down on this Rapture. Going to double down. I do have Electric Terror, but I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump, and I could go Fire Terror. Do I wanna go Fire Terror? That Shadow Sneak. Do some damage on the U. What would do more damage? Play rough or Shadow Sneak? Shadow Sneak, Snab, Stab. This actually does a little bit more play rough, Will. So I'm just gonna go for a play rough with a Hydro Pump. And they cancel match, so my team thriving out match number one. Let's go hop into our second one. Look to use Superior in that one. Moving on to our second match, and we keep going up against Regulation Age teams. This team is dope. They got Bax Caliber, Corviknight, Hydreigon, Hifsui, and Typhlosion, and then on top of that, they got Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, which is honestly really scary. So I think maybe we just have to start boosting Superior out here early. So I am going to end up leading that Pokemon. And do I lead it with a Fake Out user? Or do I just go in the Grimstrong? Because Grimstrong can slow down. I can Spirit Break. 
I know superior's typing is meh here, but I mean, his tower typing is going to work wonders. So, who do I want to go into? I definitely want superior. But I want to lead Grimmsnarl. Maybe. I mean, scary face fake tier, spirit break. Parting shot here as well. Not bad. Um, yeah, I don't mind Grimmy. I do not mind Grimmsnarl. So, I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. Um, I think going into Rotom could be pretty good for us. And last but not least, Mimikyu or Corvo. I think Mimikyu. I mean, look at all, all the dragon types here. Well, two dragon types. But still, Mimikyu's absolute amazing. Play rough can do some big time damage all around. But my whole thing is here, they're probably going to want to try to go down those with Tatsugiri. So I think I just have to start boosting Superior as much as I possibly can, right? Try to get it to at least like plus four, maybe plus six. Probably plus four is a good middle ground here before Dantoso gets out here. Unless they lead Dantoso, which would... I'd be super surprised if they do. And kind of just go from there, right? Yeah, I don't mind it. I do not mind it. So let's see who they lead. I mean, it could be Corbin. I think they're going to lead Corbin. I think I'm leading Intimidate and Sinor. In that case, we might just have to Thrasize our superior. <clears throat> but they're going to go with the land, Dantoso, and Typhlosion. And I don't mind it. I mean, I have to Thrasize Fire with superior. Um... Is Don Dozo going to protect? That's a real question. I think I just attacked Typhlosion. I think Don Dozo might just protect. So, honestly. Honestly, we could probably do some nice damage with fake tears here. Not going to sugarcoat it. I think Don Dozo protects. There's no way he's swapping the tats here. Actually, there is definitely a way that you swap into Tatsu. You know what? Never mind. I changed my mind. We're going to go Leaf Storm in this slot. And if I can, I'm just going to go Spirit Break. You withdraw him. Okay, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. And you're going to go into Bax Calibur in this slot. Okay, so that's not a bad swap, but I still like our Terror type here. We're going to be able to spear break this uh, Typhlosion, who is special attacking. And we're going to start boosting our stats. I don't mind it. I got Fire Terror, or I got Terror Blast as well, so. That works fine for me. Eruption's going to fly here. Are you choice? You might be choice. And Superior's soaking decently well. Leaf Storm's still going to fly here. Do like negative six damage. But give us that plus two special attack boost. Spear break now flies. This thing's definitely choice, so that's actually good for us. And I could just go into a parting shot in that slot, which I think I'm going to do with a Terra Blast flying out from you. If I'm going to go Terra Blast, I am going to go parting shot. I think that you should outspeed this Bax Caliber. So I'm hoping I could just Terra Blast KO on top of a uh, parting shot just to dip out of there. And lower that eruption damage. Might even swap Typhlosion here. So we know what they have in the back end. It's Don Dozo... And it's Tatsugiri. Now, our only problem here is if Superior dies. And it's kind of looking like it's on that path to die. And I kind of need it. Like, I need to boost this thing up. <clears throat> but they got a lot of Pokemon right now that are just, just simply countering me. But instead of just protecting that Typhlosion, no big deal. Can we outspeed with uh, Superior? It'd be really nice. It'd be really nice. And we do. Can we KO now? Can we KO? It's neutral. Or plus two. We get a crit and we don't KO. Come on, man. And you get thermal exchange. So we can say bye bye to superior. We can say bye bye to superior. I was really hoping that would just KO. Leave him on red. The superior gone, Grimstone gone. Double KO. And this one not looking good for us, guys. Not looking good. Not looking good whatsoever. I do have Mims. I don't have Terra though. Man, I was hoping that would have cared so bad. Really was hoping. Really was hoping here. Yeah. Alright. Let's get after it. So I can Shadow Sneak KO the uh, Bax Caliber. And I really don't want to choice in Hydro Pump, right? Definitely want to Shadow Sneak you. 
I could trick, I could launch a Hydro Pump, but again, Hydro Pump's not gonna be good. It really just isn't. I'm gonna have to use Volt Switch for damage. I'm gonna have to use Volt Switch for damage. It's our only way. It is our only way. We had the choice in the Volt Switch here. Because we know who they have in the back end. We know what they have. I mean, I have Mimikyu. I can, like, Will-O-Wisp later. And he's going to go into here. Is this going to be Don Dizzy? You thinking I'm going for a water move here? This is going to be Don Dizzy. So this is going to be pretty good for us. He's going to go for an Ice Shard. Take off my Disguise. Smart play there. Just get rid of my Disguise. And I'm able to Shadow Sneak pick up the KO onto you. Now I'm able to Volt Switch and at least do some decent damage into this Don Dizzy. Maybe I get a crit. It's going to be pretty good for us. This could be pretty good. So he's going to reset his choice scarf. We know that's what he's rocking with. And Volt Switch doing half damage, which is good news. That's real good news. That's real good news. Now, do they throw out Tatsugiri or Typhlosion? They're going to go into Tatsugiri. So Tatsu on the field. Um, do I burn the Catfish or do I just straight up attack it? Because what could it go for? Wave Crash, Order Up. Earthquake. I think I'm just going to go into... Yeah, I just had to play rough it, right? We're going to will o -Wisp, but the problem is we don't want to outspeed it. I think we just had to try to do enough damage, but you're going to thrash slice. That's, that's my one issue. But still, you know what? Screw it. We're going to Volt Switch. We're going to play rough. And there's the Terror type. Show me it's a Dragon Terror type. That's our, our like, one way out of here. Would be a dragon terror type, which I've seen before, but it's probably grass, right? It is dragon. Hold up, play it rough, look and do some damage. As long as you're not going wave crash to Mimikyu, which most likely you are. We'll switch out speeding, doing negative five. <laughs> we need you out speeding. You do out speed, but you don't KO. I needed you to KO there. Really needed you there. Really needed you. And there's the wave crash. Man, that's two Pokemon that we left on red. Two. We need to KO that, uh, <clears throat> that Bax Caliber. Didn't do it with Terror Blast. And then we need to KO this Don Dozo. Didn't do it with Plain Rough. He's gonna die out, though. He's gonna die out to recoil. So hold up. Do I have a shot? I really don't think I do. Consider we are choosing the Volt Switch. We just don't have enough damage output. We just don't. We just simply don't. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. I'd rather just actually, eh, you never know. We'll go after Typhlosion, though. We'll switch around speeding. Not bad damage. And Draco Meteor launches. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage for me to handle. And there goes Infernal Parade. Really cool move. I like that move. But we're going to end up losing this match. So, one on one for today's video. Let's go hop to a third. Grab you guys that wing record. Final match on its way. And we are going up against a Regulation G team. Thankfully, it is not an OP Regulation G team with, like, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, or... Kai Ogre. It's one with Kirim, so I feel like we can still get after it. But, um, who should I lead here? They could lead Incineroar. I kind of want to get Superior out here. The only problem is Incineroar there, but I mean, we could go into Incineroar of our own. Really start to get after it, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm going to go Superior. Um, on top of that, I think Mimikyu could be good. And last but not least, we go Corvo. Or do we go Rotom? It's either Corvo or Rotom. Looking at this, Corviknight, probably a little bit better here. So I am going to end up going Corviknight because Kieran probably has free try. And I mean, that's going to be super effective on two of them. But I mean, Corviknight, obviously he's got, you got Brave Bird, right? Kind of deal with the Moogus. Yeah, you got Brave Bird and Iron Head, which is just big news for us. Big, big news for us. So I got safety goggles on my, uh, on my Incineroar as well, so if they want to go into like Amoogus here, they can't really put me to sleep, right? I'm a grass type on Superior. On top of that, I got safety goggles onto Incineroar, so if they want to lead, uh, they want to lead him, that's fine. And Rage Powder won't really work here either. Safety goggles just works wonders, especially when Amoogus is in the meta. So let's see who they're gonna chalk up here, right off the rip. They're gonna go Miascarada and Incineroar, so we get to intimidate them, which is pretty big. They intimidate us, but um, Superior is gonna be really the only one taking big time damage. Alright, cool. We're doing big time damage, I should say. 
Actually, I get an attack boost from that. <laughs> Contrary is so funny. All right, so Intimidate worked wonders. Um, His Intimidate came out here first. So I'm just going to end up protecting you this turn. And if I can, just rip a Flare Blitz. I wouldn't mind just ripping a Flare Blitz. I'm going to protect Superior. Is he going to fake out Incineroar or Superior? I'm going to fake out my Incineroar. Okay, that's fine. And he's going to go for a U-turn. So he's looking to U-turn pivot out of here. And my superior is going to be able to block that. All right, so we get off a big time block. Um, I think you want to do that again. And I think you want to outspeed. So I think from here, we just terrestrialize and we throw a Leaf Swarm into this slot. And if I can, do I knock off Incineroar's item or do I just party shot out of here? I think I just dip out of here. I think I just dip out of here. So we're going to hope that you are still going for your little U-turn. Because Miascarada should be faster than Superior. So we're going to hope that you're still going for your little U-turn. You're going to pivot into something I can just rip with Leaf Storm. You're just going to hard swap Incineroar. That's fine. Incineroar with the withdrawal. Who are you going to go into? Because I'm parting shotting a slot. It's going to be Fluttermane. That's, that's not a bad swap for us. That's not a bad swap for us. He's going to Protosynthesis. Probably get some speed cooking. I'm going to go into a Fire Tower, which actually works well up against Fluttermane as well. So, cool. I actually really like this tower type on Superior. Lovely. All right. Can you go for a U-turn? Again. That's what I'm really hoping for. The U-turn pivot. Show it to me. Yep, there it is. Cool. So, they, they, they probably think we're going Flare Blitz. So, they might want to go into... They might go back into Incineroar. Let's be honest here. They might go right back into Incineroar, which would be the smart play. They do. Okay, so smart play from them. Um, I am going to go plus one special attack, which is the most important thing. And from here, we're going to lower Fluttermane's special attack. That's big. Alright, so we'll do that. Um, hmm. From here, do I go into Mimikyu? Do I go into Corvo? And Corvo is not bad. I could just go into Corvo and start bulking up. Or I could just go into Mimikyu. I'm going to show him that I have Corvo Knight. I'm not going to show him. Actually, I'm going to show him that I have Mimikyu. I'm not going to show him that I have Corvo. So I'm going to go into Mimikyu here. I'm going to hard swap it right back into Incineroar. And I think I'm just going to attack this Fluttermane slot. I need even Giga Drain it. Plus two. I need some HP back. Actually, I got to protect this turn. I got to protect this turn. I'll swap into it. It's in war. It's going to be a good battle. It's going to be a good battle. Yeah, I got to protect Superior here. I'm not, I'm not risking a fake out takeout when my Superior is plus two on special attack. And on attack as well. But the attack stat don't matter. I'm not risking my, my the death of my snake right here. My snack. My little snack snack. Not, not risking it. I'm just not risking it. It's it's the most powerful Pokemon. I'm going to play smart around it. And especially since it's plus two, they're probably looking at it like, hey, this thing's a target. I should double down into it. I'm going to hard swap into my Incineroar, baby. Incineroar. Let's go. Okay, so we'll put a minus one on to their Incineroar. And their Flutter still minus one from our parting shot earlier. And out comes a Terra. But he's going to decide the Terrasla. This has got to be Flutter Man. Which I don't mind. You're plus one. And now you're fairy and I can probably... Oh, you're normal. I can still fake that out. A normal type Flutter main coming out here. What, do, what, what you doing here? You're scaring me. You go for the protect, the protect on the Snick. And you're going to fake it out? Hopefully you're faking out that slot. You go for Power Gem. Yo, chill! Chill. Power Gem and me like that. You're going to party shot my Incineroar. No big deal. No big deal. What do you go into from here? For power gem, that's not looking good. That's looking like we need to double down on Fluttermane, even though it might protect this turn. That's my real problem. Do we read it protecting? I'm gonna go for the fake out takeout. I'm going for the fake out takeout. You going back into Incineroar? Don't protect Fluttermane. Do not protect Fluttermane. Do not protect Fluttermane. Let me just 
Let me just attack this bad boy. Let's go. That's big. That's big. Fake out, take out. Coming at you guys. Plus two snake over here. Later, Flutterman. That's a big time KO for us. That's massive. Because now we're sitting plus four. I can just protect the snake this turn. And I'm just going to hard swap Incineroar. Bring him in the back end. That's a, that's a big time KO right there. Because if they had protect, that protect could have potentially won him the game. But I played it simple. Went for the fake out, take out, and it worked in our favor. So going to their next Pokemon, it is going to be Kiram. Kiram's going to come out here. Um, they're just ripping terrible ass. Are they really going to fake me out? Are they really going to fake out Superior? They're, they're probably going to be to Protect. They're probably going to really Protect. Oh, come on. I knew I should have Protected. What am I doing? This thing's going to go for Hyper Voice, which we soak. That's, that's, that's great news. That's great news, because I'm able to party shot through. Um, Superior did show it outspeeds, because it flinched before that thing even went, so... That's good news, and now I can just go into my Mimikyu. They already used their Terra, which is good news. Yeah, we can go to Mims. Right into my Mimis. My Mimi Mimi Mimis. So, Superior is fastest on the field. I'm thinking we can just do this and then rip a play rough into this slot. So there goes a Terra Blast. Plus four. Can this KO? I really hope so. It's plus four. It doesn't. We should have doubled down to Kiram. Play rough gonna, going to land, which is great news. Big time damage onto you. And now's the turn that we actually lose our superior. Honestly sucks, but it's good to know that Mimikyu outspeeds as well. Let's see. You going for another Hyper Voice? You are. It's not going to affect my... Uh, Mimikyu, which is great, because I will still have the skies up. And Incineroar's going to take off the skies. Unless you go for a parting shot. That'd be a, rough, that'd be a rough turn for us if he goes for a parting shot here. And he does. Man! Now I'm sitting here minus one. He can hard swap in. I can go minus two. But I still feel as player off should KO the Kiram. And then Corvo, if I can just, like, bulk up this next turn. That could be good, good for us, because they have... Who is it? Miascarada. I like this. I like this. So we still have disguise. Oh, we still have Incineroar. I didn't even realize that. Corvo's definitely going to replay this turn. I totally forgot we still had Incineroar. Okay, so that's a lot better good news for me. Because I was thinking we couldn't swap Mimikyu. I think we just had, I just thought we had her Corviknight and Mimikyu left. But still, I think he now is just a good bulk up turn. And I think going into a play rough to finish off this Kiram is definitely what we want to do. If you want to swap into Incineroar into the Kiram slot, that's fine. Because I'm just going to get off a free bulk up. And then next turn I can just intimidate both Incineroar and Miascarada. And honestly, if they swap into Incineroar here, we got Mirror Armor, which is awesome. Just going to bounce back that Intimidate. And yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Go ahead, that's fine by me. So we'll swap Mimikyu next turn. We'll Intimidate him even again. And we'll just keep bulking up our boy. Bulk up. Bulk up. We love bulk up. So plus, plus one attack, plus one defense. Huge. Huge flower trick gonna come across here. And that's gonna go right into my boy and take off her disguise. The disguise droops down. My boy's minus two. The player off going to land and get a crit? Was that a crit? I love you! This is why I love Mimikyu. <laughs> that's a monstrous crit right there. That's a monstrous crit. Big time crit. Now we're able to bulk up. Real question is, do I double down into Kyurem here? Oh yeah, I definitely hard swapped into Incineroar. Just a must play. It's a must play, but let me see in uh, not Incineroar. Let me see Corviknight speed real quick. Yeah, 107. Probably not outspeeding it. But I still feel as we should go for an Iron Head to look to KO this thing. And then just hard swap our Mimikyu into... The king of regulation age, Incineroar. This Pokemon is going to be so crazy when it comes to regulation age. You guys are always already seeing it on a casual ladder. Like, this match was just like, hard swap Incineroar, parting shot out Incineroar, hard swap Incineroar. When the power level's lower, it's easier to swap out your Incineroar, because it can take more hits. And it's just, it's just that much stronger when you can swap it in that a couple extra times. The Flyer Trick flies through here, it's a guaranteed crit. Fusion Flyer's gonna fly, and... Do we soak this Incineroar? I don't think you do. 
Yeah, no, that's that's a lot of damage, but still, it was worth the sacrifice because now our Mimikyu's back normal on a uh, physical attack stat. And Corviknight's gonna pick up the KO here. Later, Kiram, get it on out of here. So our final match today, we're gonna end up picking up a win up against a Regulation G team. Come on, man. What more? What more can you guys ask for from me? What more can you guys ask for? Because we're just gonna go into a play rough. On top of that, we're gonna go into a lovely little Brave Bird. Actually, I'm gonna go into a Shadow Sneak instead. Just to take off Focus Ash if you have it. Shadow Sneak. Lovely. Because I think you might have been able to outspeed my Mimikyu and just Flower Trick and KO me. That's what I was scared of, so. I think Shadow Sneak was definitely the play. So bye bye, Mimikyu. Thanks for playing. Thanks for doing all your work. And Corviknight, finish off this match. Nice little plus one attacking Brave Bird. See you later. See you later. 2 1 for today's video. Got a level winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 in one with this superior Rotom and Mimikyu team. I feel like we showcased it to its fullest potential using all of the Pokemon in today's video, which I absolutely love doing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.